Hi, welcome to my first tech talk. What this is, is I'm going to be putting together, so if you've looked around the channel, um, and most, hopefully most of you haven't, I'm hoping this brings in some new people, but um, if you look around my channel, you'll see a lot of, of general gaming videos, game test videos, stuff like that. And then you'll see stuff here and there where I go over, you know, my, my pre-owned stuff that I do on Craigslist. So what this is, is putting the two together. Using, using those two, using my experience on prices, purchases, stuff like that, combined with my <clears throat> experience with what video card you need to do what. So I'm going to be going over today what video card you should buy, particularly well if you're waiting for one of the new 30 series cards, which most of us are. Um, uh, we're going to be going over that, and I'm also going to go over a few other things, you know, why you shouldn't buy some particular items. So, the cards I have here, this is the highest one I have on the table. This is a Asus Strix GTX 1070. This is an MSI GTX 970 100ME. It's just some dumb special edition they did, whatever. It's, eh, it's green, it looks cool. Um, this card right here is a, uh, what is this? is a GTX 780, is it a TI? No, it's a non-TI. This is a GTX 780 non-TI classified. This was EVGA's top or close to top version of this card. And then this right here is uh, a, uh, what do we got? GTX ASUS. Uh, this was, this was the, this was pre-Strix. So this is what ASUS was doing before Strix. This is something called the Direct CU. It's, that's their fancy cooler back in the day. Uh, this is a GTX. I thought this was a, actually, you know, I was thinking it was a 60, but I think it's a 560. Yeah, this is a, uh, a one gig GTX 560. <clears throat> so we're going to start with what you should, what you should buy. So these two, 970 and 1070, I think are going to be the two biggest bargains for the time being. Um, these can be had in the neighborhood of 150 to 175 dollars, you will see higher price ones, but they can be had for that price. Um, excuse me for a second. This is probably if you're looking for a cheap video card that'll get the job done. I think the 970 is the way to go. <clears throat> so. I would actually make the argument that nobody needs more than a GTX 970. Do we all want more? Yes. We've got a 1070 here. I've got in that machine and a machine that you can't see right there, I've got uh, 1080 Ti's. <clears throat> They're great cards. But if I did not have the money to buy those cards, I'd be happy with a, ten, uh, with a 970. I honestly would. I have not seen a single game that a 970 cannot run at a playable frame rate at an enjoyable setting level. Haven't seen it, especially when backed up with good parts. Um, back this up with like uh, like an i7-4790 or a 6700K, and, and you're golden. This this system, like especially especially if you're going to be doing you know esports, Fortnite, Apex Legends stuff like that, you're going to be solidly above 120 FPS, solidly, often higher. I've I've seen these go as high as uh, uh, upwards of 200 FPS, uh, backed with the right components. So there, the 970 is still no slouch. It's it's a good card. Um, uh, I'm going to give some some definite avoids. Um, <clears throat> don't buy a 7 Series card. Um, there's always those caveats. The, well, I found a 780 Ti for $25. Okay, if you have the power supply support to, to, to run it, do it. Um, especially if you don't have access to something else. Um, but for the most part, 7 Series cards are permanently gold-plated in people's minds. I don't know why. I don't know what has caused this. This card I routinely see at a higher price than this card. There is literally no reason to pay more than 50 bucks. I mean, these are solidly available. If you look on the market, these can be had. I mean, if I if I were trying to buy 970s, which sometimes I am, if I were to concert my effort into buying 970s, I could probably pick up three or four of them a week, maybe more than that, at $80 a piece or less. I try to get them for $80. Sometimes I'll get them less. I've seen them for 70, 60, 50 even 
on occasion. Um, <clears throat> but 80 is usually the, the target I'm shooting for. If I, if I want a GTX 970, I want to build a mid-range build right now, 80 bucks for a 970 is what I'm shooting for. These, I'm shooting for 150. I, I'd like to get them for 150. If I had a buyer say, hey, I need a car, I need a system, I'm, I'm willing to pay extra for a good card, I'd, I'd probably be willing to pay somewhere in the neighborhood of 175. But if I'm actually shopping for deals, I want a 1070 for uh, um, 150 bucks. Um, the other thing with these cards is that they're old. And old does not mean the technology is useless. Um, again, if you get it for the right price, it's it still runs most games out there at medium, high, even better for some stuff. I mean, I think you can max or come pretty close to maxing. Uh, okay, maybe you can't. <laughs> Oh yeah, I was, I was trying to think, but actually, the last time I did any extensive testing with a with a with a 780, I think even even newer mid range games. Um, talking, uh, dang it, the screen went off. I'm kind of using those for lighting. Um, the last time I I tested uh, a 780, I think I was hitting like medium to high settings at playable frame rates on say Far Cry 5 stuff like that. Now, if you're doing esports titles, if you're doing Far Cry, Apex Legends, I don't know, Overwatch, whatever, I, I'm going to guess, I, I haven't tested in a while with, with uh, say, Fortnite. Sorry, I'm at Fortnite, not Far Cry. I haven't tested Fortnite in a while on a 780, but um, uh, probably low settings, probably still north of 100 FPS. It'd be decent, um, but this card's a better buy. Um, and again, part of what goes into the, the thing that sucks about them being old, uh, which is where I was going to, um, these are hot cards. A lot of 780s, even if they have big coolers on them, they're hot cards, which means if someone's actually used one, it's it's going to be run hot for years. I mean, 20, 2013, I think, is, is the generation for this card. And, and again, it's not a question of the performance in most cases. It's <clears throat> it's a bad value because it's, it's going to be a heavily used even if not abused, a heavily used hot card, and they're just, they only last so long. The 970, especially if you get a decent cooler like this MSI, they're, they run reasonably cool. They're not hot cards. Um, they're, I guess they're not, they're not super cool, but they're, they're, they're on the cooler side. They're just, they're not ultra hot cards. They're, they're a couple years newer. They're cooler. They're more power efficient. That's the other thing. Like this card right here, I mean, this needs, can you see that? Yeah, you can. This needs two 8-pin PCI Express. Now, you encounter with the GTX 970s, you'll encounter a couple different versions. This one needs, <clears throat> being a little bit on the higher end, an 8 and a 6. But you'll see a lot that only need either a single 8 or two 6s, which this may not seem like, like uh, you know, two 8s versus an 8 and a 6. But that can often put you in a different tier power supply. I mean, you can go from, say, your, your 500 has maybe an 8 and a 6, uh, especially if it's a decent 500, um, to, uh, to needing a, say, a, and, and I mean, you could use an adapter, but for that card, it's, it's too much power. Um, I bet you'd get shutoffs and stuff. Um, you To go from this to running that, you're going to probably need to jump from, say, a 500 to a 650, that alone could totally destroy the good deal, even if you get one of these for 25 bucks. So just keep keep that in mind. Um, I'm trying to think, what else should we take a look at? Um, these, like I said, I think these are the up and coming good deal, the uh, the, 10, uh, the 1070. Um, I would try to stay away from 1070 Ti's just because they seem to go for an amount that doesn't justify the extra performance. Um, but, uh, if you got 150 bucks to spend, a, ten, a 1070 is not a bad way to spend it. I mean, just a, just a couple of years ago, this was a card that was, what, four, 450, 375, four, 450, something like that. Um, and this will still max most games, um, especially if you're only running at 1080, which I think most of us are running at 1080 still, even if you have high performance monitors, um, uh, at 1080 is still is still what most people are at. Um, okay, so to sum this up, buy a GTX 970. 
If you're looking for a good deal on a video card, they're readily available. They are, for whatever reason, they never really got gold-plated. That's the, that's the term I use for uh, components that, <clears throat> for whatever reason, people get it in their head that, that, that the, the part is worth X amount of money, and it never falls. 980 Ti's are a great example. I still rarely see a 980 Ti, I mean, really below 200 bucks. I mean, they're out there, but it's pretty rare. I mean, I've, I've seen 1080s that low sometimes. Like, if you really watch, you can find, I mean, you gotta sit there hitting, you know, refresh on Craigslist, but you can find 1080, uh, 1080 non-TIs for 250? I mean, I've seen them as low as 200, though. I definitely have. So, I, I just, I, 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 yeah, don't, don't waste money. Uh, the other thing I'm gonna say, so this, this 560, uh, 560 Ti, I think, don't buy one of these. Do not buy an older video card. Realistically, I mean, if, if you're living in, in some country where tech is harder to get and you just want anything that can handle anything at all just to have some fun and you've got the power supply to support it I, and it's there and you can get it for 20 bucks and normally anything is 100 bucks. I mean, I understand that scenario and I know that some buyers in some markets are in that scenario, but most areas are not that situation. Don't spend money on an old card like this. This will not run newer games. This will not even run, maybe if I put it in my 9900K, maybe, but realistically, this will not even run Fortnite well. Um, to, to find games that this card will run well, you're going to have to go back circa, I don't know, low-end games 2014, maybe, but realistically, to find high-end games that this can run well, you're going to be having to go back as far as, I don't know, 2011, 2012, something like that, maybe earlier. Um, people were still rocking those cards back then, so some games could run on them, but nothing even remotely close to modern. Um, maybe Crisis 3, uh, in spite of the reputation it has for needing a lot of performance, I actually find it runs quite well at lower setting levels on, on cards like that. So maybe, but nobody, nobody's really playing that stuff. I mean, everybody wants to play Fortnite, Apex Legends. I, I don't think I'd have to do a test myself, but I don't think you can run Apex Legends at a playable level on this card. Um, playable meaning 1080p low settings, uh, 60 FPS. So anyway, um, I hope that gives people a little bit of insight into my thought on video cards. I know it's a little bit rambly. I'm going to get these videos to be a little bit better. This is kind of my first first stab at the uh, tech talk style thing. Um, but I hope you guys find this interesting. Um, feel free to ask. Uh, so, oh, and I, I rambling again. Um, I, I should say, there's always the caveat of that price, you have $25 on that. So if, if you come across a part and you wanna know, hey, do you, is this a good deal based on market values? I usually stay on top of market values on, on parts. So um, feel free to ask. Um, just do me a favor, if I, gotta, if I gotta explain a bunch of stuff, hey, throw me a sub if you would. I'm, I am starting to try to, to put some effort into growing this channel. Videos like this take a little bit more effort than you know my random, uh, my random game demo videos. I gotta set up equipment and lighting and stuff to do these to make them even marginally decent quality. Um, so do throw me a sub and uh, you know, feel free to ask questions. I will do my best to answer. Don't expect an answer at the same minute, but I'll, I'll try to get them at them every couple of hours when I can if people are curious. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time.